Hi guys and welcome back to my studio. Um, today I'm working on a molded rock from the Happy Dotting Company over on Etsy and I've painted my rock white. I'll show you that paint um, a little later on in the video. But first I'm just sketching out my design. If you would like the traceable for this, all you have to do is join my Facebook group, my private Facebook group, um, Rockin' It with April May. Or if you don't have Facebook, you can always just email me and my email is listed here and I can send it to you. So I'm going to fast forward through this section because you can't see uh, what I'm drawing out very well due to my lighting but you will be able to see it here in a minute. So I'm basically just sketching out four main butterflies and then three or three several background uh, butterflies. I'm not even sure how many there actually are on the rock but you can either follow my design or you can kind of make your own interpretation, do your own background, whatever you want to do. So now that I have my design worked out, I'm just going to clean up any areas <clears throat> that I'm not pleased with. And you can either use an eraser. In this case, I'm using eraser and the apple barrel, which is my background color. So now that that's done, I'm going to paint in my background butterflies gray. And I used ivory black titanium white and a little bit of primary blue to create my gray and I you I always use the Liquitex basics um, but you can use whatever colors you want and then I'm just going to go in and this is I'm not doing any kind of shadowing or highlighting on these background butterflies they're just a basically a flat gray. <clears throat> and Liquitex Basics is kind of a transparent paint for the most part, so I do have to use a couple of coats. Now I'm taking Mars Black, and again this is Liquitex Basics, and my Halo, Halo Tap, Halo Tap, excuse me, paintbrush and I'm going to paint in the bodies of my four main butterflies. So now I'm going to take, this is Quinacridone Magenta, and this is going to be my main butterfly color. And this is a great art practice, number six round paintbrush. And again, I'm not doing anything special, I'm just blocking in this color. And I'll put down, <clears throat> put down one coat and then I will have to go back later and do a second coat. Now 
now I'm taking dioxazine purple and I mix that with just a little bit of white just to lighten it up a, a just a tad So now I'm taking Thalo Blue. If you're using Liquitex Basics, um, the name on the tube is actually longer. It's Thalo Cyanine, I think. Um, if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm, I may be butchering that. But in the industry, everybody just calls it Thalo. There it is, Cyanine. That's the green version. So there's a thalo blue and a thalo green. I'm now moving on to my teal colored butterfly and I'm going to do equal parts of the thalo blue and the thalo green to make teal. It makes a beautiful teal color. And I have worked on my camera settings so hopefully the colors are coming across on your monitor a little bit truer to what the rock actually looks like. So now I've done two coats of all four colors. Now I'm taking the opaque black with the Createx airbrush paint. Uh, this is the paint I'll, I use all the time for my fine line black outline details. And I'm just taking a very fine liner brush and I'm going to outline all of the wings. I'm just going to kind of speed this up a little bit. And don't forget to paint in your little the antennas. And here's where you can kind of perfect the shape of your your butterfly wings if you need to. And I paint on a Lazy Susan which makes it so much easier. I can always keep my rock in the right orientation to make it easier to paint and pull lines. Pulling lines, are it's a lot easier when you're pulling towards you than pulling away. So now I'm taking, this is the Mars Black again, and I'm going in and creating the detail in the tips of the wings. You want to pull your brush stroke towards the inside of the wing so that it feathers the end of the stroke. And I did get outside of the line of my design a couple of times, but we're just going to go back and clean up the background later. And I'm going to do this with all four of the main butterflies.
So now I'm taking the titanium white and I'm going to mix it with each one of the colors I used for my main butterflies and I'm going to lighten each one's color down just slightly uh, so that you can see the, the color better. And I'm going to lighten towards the tip of the wings and leave towards the body still a little darker. And you want your brush strokes to kind of go in the direction of the wing pattern because the brush strokes kind of gives the illusion of the wing segments, whatever you call those on a butterfly wing. I'm not, I don't know what you call that stuff. So we see I'm just slightly lightening, especially the green was really dark. I think the purple was real dark too. So you want to definitely be able to see the color so it doesn't blend into the, the, the black so easily. It gets, if it's too dark, it'll get lost in the black. I'm lightening this up just a little bit more. And I'm taking a little bit darker color and kind of feathering it all in. So now I'm going in with my background color, which was the apple barrel white, and I'm touching up some of the areas just to clean up the design. I'm using a I still have some pencil marks that I didn't get erased the first time, so I'm just erasing those. This and now I'm going back over my <clears throat> the gray butterflies with one more coat to make sure that they're solid. Now I'm using the black to touch up the black areas. So now that we have our base design in, now I'm going in with glitter. And for my teal butterfly, I'm using green glitter. It's the closest I had. I didn't, I don't really have a, a teal glitter, so I just used green. But the butterfly still looks teal. Uh, now it's just sparkly. And I want the glitter towards the body to be heavier and then I want it to kind of feather out towards the black because we are going to go over it with black um, glitter in the black areas. So now I'm using turquoise for the blue butterfly. See how it's thicker towards the body and then I feather it out towards the black.
And for the purple, I'm using purple. And this is the Folk Art Extreme Glitter. And again, I'm going to start at the body and pull towards the end of the wing, the tips of the wings. So I've edited this video a little different than I normally do. I've slowed, somebody asked for me to slow down portions of the video. And so I've tried to do this. I hope I haven't made it too choppy. But I want you to be able to see kind of what I'm doing and then I speed it back up. So let me know in the comments if you like, like it better slowed down in portions. Or, how, or if you have other suggestions on how I can improve my videos, I'd love to hear them. So now I'm taking Jelly Bean Pink. And then I decided to add red to it because the jelly bean pink is so light, this is for my main butterfly, that I'm taking red and I'm blending the two over on my palette just to darken up that pink a little bit. And I'm building that glitter up thicker down towards the body. And now we're going to take some of the black extreme glitter and we're going to go over all the black sections and we're going to feather this end towards the wing, towards the body. <laughs> My nail looks like it's got some kind of weird fungus on it. I don't, I don't know how I get paint in some of the areas that I do. I'll leave my studio and come back home and look at myself in the mirror and I'll have it on my face, in my hair. <sighs> Sometimes I think I wear more than I use on my paintings. You see, I'm using kind of a thinner application for this, for the black. Because you don't want the black to dominate the color glitter uh, over the wings. So it's kind of a, you got to find that little balance. So you, you want it to be a little bit thinner application. And I'm sorry, I'm usually never off screen. I don't know what's happened. I think I have my camera, I tried to zoom it in so you could really see what I was doing. And that allowed it to get off screen. And there we are, we're all done. So make sure you sign your artwork. And this time I'm just using a Sharpie. You know, I'm still having problems with my hand, so. I thought this might make it a little easier because it does get pretty worn out by the end of a, a painting session. I am going to resin this rock. I don't have it on video yet because I actually haven't resined it. But once it's complete, I will have it over up on my Facebook page. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and share with any of your friends that might be interested. And I will see y'all in the next video.